And as not just my business, oh, every, almost every, everybody, as long as you're not supporting, supporting her party, she tried everything to destroy that business. And it was just so because... Give me, give me some solid examples how she tried to destroy it. No, man, even, you have persons, I, I would have bodies, because as you know, I, I operate a funeral home. Mm -hmm. I operate a funeral home, so you, I will have persons that call me to pick up their bodies. So they might be in a little need. And they might go to their member of parliament for assistance. And she yes. would say to them, if it's Pat Moore, have a body, I cannot give you that, that you cannot get that grant from the government. You cannot get that NIS grant. You cannot get any of the grants. I have nothing to do with Pat Moore. You have to move the body from Pat Moore and come over to Bell's. Uh, that's a funeral home, maybe, where she have partnership in. What? And she, she tried that with me for a year. She have partnership with funeral home business? Yeah, man. Yes. Yes. She, she, her security, her security guard, or, or, or what you refer to as a bodyguard, started a funeral home. Funeral service. And she decided that everybody in South Chilani must go to that funeral home. And she tried every single way. I, you have, I have even instances where people pay me for bodies. You know? And she yeah. was telling them, because she's trying to get down my business now. They would say, I will, I will give you that back. I would give you the money to go and give back Pat Moore. That, like, they pay me 200000 Yes. So you know that Pat Moore would might be charged maybe a hundred thousand for you to get back the body. Mm. He said, I will give you that to give back Pat Moore. Just to get the body. Just to, it's it's been it's been a rough so ride. Funeral contract through the government to another funeral home. Yes. They they just want to take take the body. It was it was the uh, the, only, the the only thing that saved me. I am the government contractor. So even during the JLP time. Because as you know, there's not much, there's not many funeral homes. Even though you look on, you always hear about 200 and funeral homes in Jamaica. It's not a large mm -hmm. amount of us that pay our dues and pay our taxes and, and, and that can really, when, when you come around for a contract time, you can really go out there and apply for a contract. Not many of us. Okay. So that's why in Jamaica now, you only have around 11 contractors. Even though it's a contract that everybody would want. And she's the one that questioned that contract, everyone. But, but Pat Moore is so qualified that even as anti JLP as I am, they have to just watch me go through, you know? Yeah, man. So, so I, I go through a lot of fights. Every single thing that Pat Moore tried. I'm, I'm a, I, I'm a, I promote music, I promote events. And she yes. put up every she put up every single fight that you can think of, every single fight. Really? Yeah, man, and try to do that. Yeah, man, every, everything, everything. As long as you have anything to do with Pat Moore, anything to do with Pat Moore. If even wanna, I have family members that I pick up their body, and and she would have persons or workers would be calling. Some my like my cousin. To say I needed to move everybody from Pat Moore because we, we want to, the, the MP want to help you with some funds. Even though the funeral home that they're sending anybody to, you know, is 200000 dollars dearer than Pat Moore's. You know. So what they're gonna do, they're gonna give them a 50000 discount. So Mama, do you get the body? And they give, they give so they said tell us so they give you a 50000 discount. But at the same time, their package is 200000 dollars dearer than Pat Moore's. Mm. So they end up losing one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. But you can imagine how some people feel when they say, "The mama go help you, mama dear go help you." That's why Pat Moore, funeral, you know, Paul Pat Moore now is saying to people, "I want to put you in a position where you don't need an MP or a council to bury your dead. I want to bring yeah. up the people to when they where they have that pride." When they have a dead, we mm -hmm. know the boy, they must come together as a family and bury them dead. You don't need no MP or no council to step in and bury your dead. You should be embarrassed mm -hmm. if you your MP and your council must bury dead for you. 
The, this what MP keeps the people in a position where if they're sick, they must call her. They will, she will never try to even help these people to start a little business. What she will do is to keep them in a position that as in, anytime you want something, you can always check me for it. Go and check mama, man. So you want a 10,000 dollars that's, that's why she have the big black book where she write down them name in her. Yeah, man. Yes. So if you never if you never vote for the Jamaica Labour Party, you cannot get no assistance. Period. My God. And if, if you are if you are if you if you are if you know Pat Moore, because remember say I was a part of the JLP at one time. So if you if you even talk to Pat Moore, you you're in our bad book. Yeah, man, but so that's that's that part. So, but I, I must tell you. So that means that if anybody say, so for instance, a JLP supporter or a sim somebody who has been sympathetic to over the years to the JLP walk in your office and want a fair foot soldier seat, that person in problem with her. Yes, yeah, man, it can't it can't happen. It can't happen. That's the type of person she is. It just can't happen. Yeah, man, and, but the, the sad thing, the sad thing... So you said the people don't have any water. You said that she sabotage your funeral business and other business that you're um, aligned to in Southern Trelawney. Yes, yes. What else is she doing? What else is this affectionate Mama D doing down there to the people? Mama D have done nothing at all. In our 17 years, I was counselor for for four years, and I every day I said to Mama, "Show me. Let's compare what we have done." Paul Patmore can show that he the Highgate Hall Basic School was built by Paul Patmore. The water supply, the big water supply in Lower Square now, called Paul Patmore Water Supply, built by Paul Patmore. We have roads that were built by Paul Patmore. And we are saying to Mama D, show me what you have done in 17 years. Even just yesterday, she, the only thing that she could talk on the stage that she have done is that she did two hard school. Not buildings, you know, but two hard school. That's what almost every so many companies that start a little hard program mm -hmm. in, in the community center. So for somebody to come up and after 17 years, the only thing you can show that you do, you start a hard program down by Alps. So there was a school, Alps all age, and under her watch, the school closed down and they start a hard program down at Alps. In Albert Town, we used to have a community center. They take away the community center completely. So if you want to have a meeting, like, like the PNP want to have a meeting, we cannot, we don't have nowhere to, to use. She mm -hmm. take away the community center and they start a hard program there. We have a, quite a few among the students graduate, quite a few of them get jobs done by, by Montego Bay or, or, or OTRS. But that's the only thing that Mama D after 17 years can have to show. The only thing that she's good at is to show that she's the best person in distribution of scarce benefits and spoils. All of her all of, what she wear, all of the money where she get for run so Chilani, gone in a toilet. You mean by she, she gone in a toilet? She to give people to eat. I just food, so she give a man check her, you get a 5,000 here and a 10,000 there. All her food soldiers, so she know, uh, uh, he's one of those persons, the first person, and maybe at that time you, you was around the, around the JLP. So the JLP are one of the first team I miss it, talk about numbers. So she knew her numbers and she knew how much person she need to win. Mm -hmm. All she do is make sure that so she keep them, she have her numbers and she keep them, give them like a 5,000 and like a 10,000. So she knows that so she needs 7,000 people. So yeah, that 7,000 people there is yeah, all you just, is. All you need. You just have them in your book and you just <laughs> men try men Yeah, man. Oh. Yeah, man. And that's, that's, that's her, that's her tactic. And that's why she's so uncomfortable now. Because per persons like me, you know, who don't know, I got, I got, they didn't realize now I got using their own game to beat them. Hmm. That was what I was going to say to you, Mr. Patmore. Yes. You sat at her feet and you know her politics. Yeah. So tell me about this Patmore Square that you built. 
No man, that, that's that 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 square was where I was. I, I grew up in that in that in that community. So born and raised in Olive River, but at one time my mother in right in Lower Square there, my mother rented a, a room, same place in the square. So that square is where we used to play. That's my foot in the road. That's where we used to play football. Mm -hmm. But we always have a spring above. We're lucky to find a spring above the community, some three thousand feet above the community. So the, the spring was always mm -hmm. there. The the MP was told about it. They said you need forty million dollars to set up a proper water project to take the water from up the hill, come down to the square. Yes. And as you know, you have a necktie man who would come. The water is on the hill, you know, and they would call somebody from Kingston, where they call consultant, and he would come in his necktie and his book and yes. say yes. If the water is on the hill, it can run down the hill. And he, so that's a, 40, 40, a $4 million for, for them to tell them that. That if the water is on the hill, it can run down the hill. So you see, so the money starts spending right away. So it was a $40 million project to take the water to the people. So did the people get the, have the people gotten the water? No, man. Here how it happened now. Paul Patmore use less than 300,000, just around my, it's less than 200,000 to buy some domestic pipes, 3,000 domestic pipes, go up the spring, set up a little dam up there and pipe the water down to the people in the square there. Wait, 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 Paul Patmore. Less than $200,000. They use less than $200,000. Yeah. To buy some pipe, that's what you said? Yes, yes. And pipe the water on top of the hill and carry down to the people. Yeah, man. Just gravity feed it down. And presently we have it connected to over some 50 houses that serve like almost 150 persons in that community. We have 30 trucks that come there and, and collect water on a daily basis. Those persons, so we have like a water a water shop right there. Free, free water. So all the houses in Louisville Included my funeral home. Call it water, get water free, pipe water. And the pressure of that water, if you don't, you have, if you don't put on a, something to cut the water, the pressure of the water, it, it's just a damage the pipe. So and this is government resources. You use your own resources. No man, like we use your own resources. It was when I was councillor. Now we get some funding and we improve that 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 project. Put in some some big tanks. Some two thousand gallon tanks. So right there we have two thousand, two two thousand gallon tanks. So it's always full. So if a truck, some sometimes you have all five truck waiting. So somebody with us pump the water outside, out, out of those tanks. So yeah, man, but it's so a major, major, major of the valley. Yeah, man. You are the Brighton man in starring South Trelawney, giving the people the basic resources that should what that they were told they would have gotten seventeen years ago. Yes. Yeah, man. So that square where the water is, we call it Patmore Water Square. Yeah, man. And we have, as, as we said, we have persons from over in North Trelawney. So, so trucks from over in Northeast Manchester come over and buy water. And we are talking about Manor Yard constituency. Manor Yard constituency buy water from your area? Yeah, man. If you come over there because they don't buy it. They get it free. Can we set it up that it's free water? Free water. You don't so buy the truck. You, the yard. Yard. you, yeah, the, you still are getting the labor right them the water, Paul Patmore. Yeah, man. The people in Farm Manor Yard constituency. That's where they come for water on a daily basis. Yeah, man. And, and, and that project couldn't even go reach further. That's why I'm telling the people of South Trelawney, let's get rid of that rimple like right now. Mm -hmm. We can't wait. Because we need to improve that water supply. The people ask her, I say, hey, why you don't try and improve the water supply that Patmore start down there? But because in, they call it Patmore water supply, it's not going to get Patmore too much. It's not going to get Oh, yes. it's not going to get the... Oh, man. Yes, because it's already Patmore so water supply. Listen to her, they're going to call it Marissa Square. Marissa Square, yeah, man. So she don't want to help with that. But is a is a is a is a the, the, the water that we have there can supply the entire Larmas division, the entire Larmas division. 
So how many yeah, divisions are in the constituency? Can, can you repeat that? I don't hear it. How many divisions are in the constituency? It's four. Four divisions. Four divisions. And all and divisions are... are all four. All four of them. All four of them. Are controlled uh, by uh, the PN, the Labour Party. The, and the all four of them cons controlled by... It, it was... The only the Lima's division, the only time it was ever won by different from the JLPs when when I won it as an independent councillor. I won with 65% of the vote. The PNP got 5% and the JLP get 30%. So why you never go back for your for your council seat? You know, it, it was it, it, at that time I was receiving 108000 dollars per month for salary. My pay as a councillor was one hundred and eight, one hundred and eight thousand dollars. Every single day, every single month, when I what I check, I give away at least two hundred and fifty thousand. Just people just ask you for something, they beg you something for sending a picnic or school, they could doctor bill here and there. As I give away at least two hundred and fifty thousand every single. Every single. So you, you were running. So you were running in a deficit. Yes, I was running a deficit, and I must tell you though, one of the main concerns, because I could live with that because I always been given the social and the politics is a rough politics. Mm -hmm. Most idiot, nobody in Jamaica know that. In the last person that ran, put up herself. Before Mr. Gillins put up herself to run for MP in South Chilani, she was found burned in her vehicle. A lady named Christine Ewell. Christine Ewell. Yeah, man. She was, she was one of those persons that was going up against Marissa Darimple, and she was burned. A few years before that, Rascal Lee was also shot in South Chilani. A councillor, a JLP councillor, Mr. Steve Warren, was vehicle was shot up many times in the Lima's division. He was a councillor for Lima's division. So you are bringing up these history, Mr. You are bringing up these history. So what are you suggesting? Yeah, so, the, so that's one of the things that, that uh, my, my parents was a little concerned. My family was a little concerned and feel like it wasn't safe and asked me to leave the battleground because I, I was I was starting to feel the tension. I was starting mm -hmm. to feel the tension in, in South Chilani. And that's why I um, I decided, decided to call it quit. So Oh, so that is why the time that you say now nah, go to back no more politics. Yeah man, I, I, was, yeah, I was I was done with politics completely. I was I was finished with it. I just decide to say I could make leave it alone and yeah. Because so I was getting why too have much you, yeah, you know, I was over in I was over in Northeast Manchester helping the PNP over in Northeast Manchester and during the, the the election. It was in that election that I think the politics bug bite me, you know. It I, I just start to wait, enjoy wait, it again. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that you were instrumental in the recent local government election in turning several of those divisions in Audley saw seat into orange? Yes. yes, yes, most definitely. I was one of the organizers. You were instrumental in turning Christiana orange? Yes, yes. I was, yes. And every labor I oh, know that. So they, were, they were extremely mad. The labor it was extremely so mad when you see that. Issue. Yeah, man. Yes, and I and so I, I, I start to I start to enjoy it again. As I, mm -hmm. when, I, when I was there, just just to watch the people come and and the level of respect that they were giving me. And on election day, I was acting as a cluster manager at the Christian Amore events. And I see people come to vote for labor right. And when they realize because Mr. Patmore was standing there. Then just leave. Then just yeah, man. Then just can't disrespect Mr. Patmore. I cannot vote against something that Mr. Patmore said, and it made me feel good. Mr. Patmore, 
Yes. Yeah, man. It just make me feel. It just make me feel good. And it was at that time, Andre, that I really, I really felt the love. I feel that people really. I have something to offer. At that time, I felt like I have something to offer. So that yeah. no, that so your your, your skin starts itch you. Yeah, man. And yeah, man. No, no man. Me, I should go back to the love. Yes. Yeah. Go back to the love. I yeah, so, so when did you um, decide to return think, to Southern Trelawney? I think it was I think it was, was around maybe around two days after election. You know, after the parish council election, when I realized uh, mm -hmm. why did I run left South Trelawney and allow this lady to dominate and destroy South Trelawney the way she have done. Because I'm always out there complaining but not contributing. Because as, as, as long as I stay away from the political system, I'm one of the only person that, have, that the people believe that can make a difference. The JLP know that. Mary Sadarimple know that. Harris Chan know that. So Andrew Wood know that. Everybody know that. I know that. I mean, remember we are come back from when we can't talk everything yes. here. But me know the kind of damage you're capable you know remember man yes. when yeah, man. she did a support a particular man and yes you know remember all I'm here, me show them man. yeah man i'm sure them i'm sure them say a, a people power you know jamaica i'm gonna say this to you i remember if i saw correct me paul yeah but i remember when oddly was running against andrew yes and she, she was very adamant, say the whole of South Trelawney I go with hardly. And this yes. man, hey, hey, this man yes. you see on the screen, Jamaica, know the damage him doing at South Trelawney for Master 28 then, but and yeah, everything man. good for him. For her. So you say you come back now, yes. and you plan for do a serious damage. Jamaica, look on it. The, he has not nominated. And yesterday, is what you plan? Paul, why you did that yesterday? What no man, are I, you I, keep? No, man, because, because I know I, I know that I just wanted to show Jamaica that PNP is alive and well in Southern Trelawney. All I wanted to do was to hold my people together. When they see the, 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 the labor right, they might run up and down on the road. Then we feel jealous. So we say, all right, may I go by the end of the constituency. Up in, we up in Alarmas Division, I'm a business place, right now my square. You know, just come. We just call them and say, no, come, we are going to stay here, so play some music for the day. And I tell us to the people, they come out in numbers. Numbers. Because we know, so we know, we know Darimple style. All she go do a drive round, and she go come up on my place, come pass, and I flash her finger. You know. So we, we, we just kind of know our style. We know the bullies him and all of, all of those things. And it was good that we do it because we, she get the message. She realized that when she come up and see the amount of people, and then she, they end up black black the road because they come up with around fifty vehicles, and it's a it's not a big square. So if Patmore have a hundred vehicle up there and they come up with 50, they are going to have a jam. So you have persons where right there might be in taxi people in taxi, maybe for her own an hour and a half. One lady called me this morning that she were, she was in a taxi for an hour and a half and couldn't pass. I mean, I tell her, I said, call your candidate. She's the person, even though the police instruct them to not to come up to Larimer's division because Paul Patmore get permission to stay in that square from from 10 to 5, she still decided because I hear that they said they want to come look at Pat Morado. And because, you know, say as she, she go and come show the people, them say, boy, she have big crowd. So when she come now and book up on that crowd now and it, it throw the square small, they could even turn back. You know, so the, when you look and you see all the shots sitting in a car, you see Harris Chang, you see the people them from St. James, and everybody start quarreling. Yeah, man, but we are here. Mm. Yeah, man. So it's one of the biggest, is the a, is a big, is the first time since in the 70s 
that the GLP is on the back foot in Southern Trelawney. First time. They are now saying that let me do it at Larimas because Larimas is my stronghold. The Larimas division have been the GLP stronghold from in the 70s. That's the division that they depend on. So now we come and we hold on to Larimas division tight and they end up to need it. Yeah, man. So I know that Marissa never want to, never want to run. I know that she never want to run. She was forced and then bigger, and she just take the pill. And I can tell you that whenever the general election is called, Paul Patmore yeah. will be the next member of parliament for South Shilani. Yeah, man, when you look on the condition of the roads, Andre, yeah. the, the road uh, is a, the, line, the road from the line of parish to Albert Town, it was fixed in 2020. Yes. Is one of those I'm 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 calling for some lawyers now to sit down with me and tell me how we're gonna do this. But I'll be taking the government to court. Or I'll 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 be calling for an audit on that piece of road. Because that piece of road is we want to ask because NWA oversee the road. In in, in one year, the road mash up completely in one year. So the question that I want to ask, did you get money to fix the road from High, Highgate Hall to, to outside? But because it was an election year, you stretch it out and bring it to Albert Town. And because of that, it compromised. So instead of using three inch of barber green, we were able to only use maybe one inch. So as soon as the heavy trucks, the trucks with the 50 ton a mile and 50 ton a ton uh, drive on it, you just crack it up. The road, the road was not resurfaced. They carried the barber green and they spread it out on the old tar that was there. They never dig it up yes. and redo the road. But NWA oversee the road. So we cannot blame Marissa Darwin for that. You know. We have to blame the NWA. That's the, that's the agency that was set to oversee the work. And they give it a passing grade and in space of one year. In space of one year, they never control no water because they stretch out the money because it was yeah. elections. So they never get to put in on drain. So all of the drain money used to buy Barbara Green and cover off a fool the people them so they fix the road. I can tell you, it's the worst road in South in, in Jamaica right now. There's no road. I see you showing some roads. Yes. And, and down in St. Elizabeth. That's and that's like carpet to, that's like carpet to what we have in South Chilani. That's like carpet. You want to take a, a ride, ask Harris Chang about the road as South Chilani. I hear the Prime Minister said South Chilani wasn't short of anything. I said to, to the Honorable Andrew Holdis, ask mm -hmm. Harris Chang, show you a patrol that he have patched in the one year that he was in charge of the money. So they say he was getting the funds. Does the, 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 Aris Chan, can you show us a patrol that you patch? Show us a road that you weed. It was when I was I start to complain just this last month. Yeah, they come and they weed because we were we start to ask about what they do with the funds. So we run by line, line of parish. They they weed around two chains. Mm -hmm. They skip out and they go down to Louisville and they weed a chain. They skip and they go up to wait a bit and weed around five chains and. Mm -hmm. From my experience in politics, it, those are to take pictures. So you take pictures of different, different communities now. And then you're sending the real program. So you, we, you, you clean up South Chilani. But we so are going that? around now. Yeah, man, they are mm -hmm. just lying to the people. So that's why we want yeah, to have them to have a hard roads down there are very bad. Stay tuned for more PDTV News evening highlights. Remember to show your support. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.